But let's also welcome on board Mohit Barman, the director at uh, Dabur, and try and understand uh, what really is the situation with Dabur right now vis-a-vis -vis the economy and what are the prospects for the company going forward. Mr. Barman, morning. You know, pro-growth stance and the sops from the government, given that it's an election year, are a sure shot recipe for strong consumer rural demand as well. Uh, do you see the rural demand outpace the urban demand in the coming years to come, sir? Yes, uh, I believe that uh, this year will be a good year for the, all FMCG companies. Um, as you know, we've had a few hiccups in the last uh, year with the demonetization and the GST, but uh, the uh, rural demand is already showing uh, an uptick, and uh, with the monsoon uh, showing that it's, uh, it's going to be a good monsoon, I believe it's going to be a good year for all FMCG companies. Right. Uh, do you think that uh, rural demand... Uh, uh, can in a way sustain uh, the trend of our performing urban demand uh, which we've seen over the last few quarters while we have seen good growth uh, come back for the industry in the last quarter do you believe that the online consumer demand has made a comeback in a meaningful manner yes uh, I think so I, I believe that uh, that uh, uh, as I said that uh, uh, Last year was a tough year for all of us, but uh, I think it was uh, across the uh, across uh, this, uh, the whole sector, and um, and uh, this and this coming quarter, I believe, it will be a, will be an up uh, uptrend for all FMCG companies. Since we um, are talking about the consumption play, do you think that your interest in uh, Fortis is also an extension of the consumption story? That's where. Uh, you know, uh, you have thought of uh, getting into with your bid essentially because you want to uh, take advantage of how the consumption, uh, in the consumption side of this uh, business angle is likely to play out into the future. Well, I, I mean, historically, uh, this is a sector we've uh, somewhat been uh, inclined towards. Uh, we historically had the uh, um, largest oncology company in India, which we sold a few years ago called Dabur Pharma, and we have a number of uh, ventures in the healthcare space. So I think it's more than just a consumption story. Uh, we believe that, uh, that uh, the, this sector has a lot of uh, potential, and therefore we're making this bid with the Munjals. Right. But... So at this juncture, given that you're encouraged by the fact that, you know, the board has accepted the bid and is right now mulling un with the help of an advisory panel on who should be the right um, suitor for this asset, uh, what is your own uh, assessment of how your bid has been structured and how confident are you that you will get uh, this business? Well, if you look at our bid, it's a very, very clear structure. We've uh, we've said that we're willing to put money into the company, uh, as we believe that the business needs them uh, needs uh, money ASAP. Um, so we, ours is a very clear and a clean structure where we've said that we will put in 750 crores uh, day one without due diligence, as soon as we get shareholder approval, and the rest will come in as soon as uh, we have the. Uh, 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 warrant uh, the rest will be on a warrant structure which will come in within the next 18 months as and when needed so it'll be a 750 plus another 750 right uh, Mohit, don't you think that you know Fortis as a hospital has poor ratios vis-a-vis -vis the sector despite the kind of size that it sits uh, on and perhaps it needs a player like uh, an Apollo or a Manipal to manage and improve the efficiency, which clearly seems the need of the hour right now. Someone who has the technical know-how as to how to run a hospital. I'm sorry, you'll have to repeat that. Uh no, I, I was just wondering that, I mean, do you not think that Fortis as a hospital has had poor ratios versus what the sector has been sitting at, despite the kind of size that it's on? Uh, and also, maybe as a player, it needs an Apollo or a Manipal TPG consortium right now to manage and improve the efficiencies a bit better, at least in the early stages of the process. 
I'm sorry, I'm just not getting you clear. I just, um, it's not coming in. Uh, then why don't you try that one? I think there's an audio issue. Okay, here. Uh, let yeah. me, uh, Mr. Berman, what my colleague Aisha is trying to ask you is that why, um, while you have gone ahead with this bid and it's, uh, you know, you believe that it's the right bid at this price, do, do you not think that the other suitors have, uh, you know, an edge over your bid in terms of the technical know-how that they come to the table with? For example, a TPG and a Manipal? No, I, but TPG Manipal has 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 bid uh, uh, a convoluted structure, which will mean that uh, they are that the business, the hospital business, will have to be demerged from Fortis, and they will acquire that. Now that that could take anything from you know six to twelve months. I mean, is the business going to survive within that time? I mean, at the end of the day, it's a service-oriented business. So therefore, whether uh, they have a technical expertise. I mean, the business will have difficulty in surviving because with the with the with the structure they proposed. We are proposing a structure where we will put in money straight away into the business, and in terms of the management of the company, will remain intact. I mean, the business has been doing well so far. So I don't believe that uh, that uh, someone who has uh, uh, hospitals already can actually add more value than than anyone else. Case, why haven't you tied up with a private equity player? Why is it that the Munjals and you have come together for uh, 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 this bid, but haven't knocked at uh, you know uh, at a private equity house uh, to partner with you here? Because while you provide financial expertise, maybe they can come in with uh, more uh, uh, a more strategic angle to the deal. Yeah, so see, it's still early stages. We haven't tied up with a PE uh, at the moment because we don't need the money. I mean, both of us have enough capital to, to, to make good our bid. Uh, as, as and when, if and when our bid is accepted, then we will, we will, then we will look at tying up with, with uh, operators as well as, uh, as well as PE in case they add value to the whole business. My only final question on this uh, is that I believe in your previous answer you said that you haven't done due, dil dil sorry, due diligence as yet and that you've just put a binding offer. Uh, when would the due diligence happen and are you not concerned about uh, there being some skeletons in the closet? I mean, listen, I mean, this is a public asset. It's, it's a listed company, and uh, I think there's enough information that's come out on the business already. Now, of course, ideally, I would have, we would have liked to do as much due diligence as, as is possible for us, to, for us to make our bid certain, but the point is that the business doesn't have the time. And we, the bidders don't have time to do it. The business needs the money straight away. So therefore, Obviously, once we put in our first round of funding, then we'll have, we will have, as we've said, we will put in the money, we will, we will want two board seats, after which we will have an uh, eye in the company. The only difference will be that we would have already put our money where our mouth is. All right, Mr. Bhaman, we'll leave it at that. Thanks very much for joining us uh, and highlighting to us uh, uh, what your bid entails and Thank how you are uh, looking at uh, um, acquiring this asset and taking the story forward. We really appreciate the uh, details that you could share with us right now. And all the best with the process. Thank you.